Hello and welcome everybody, this is Yannin Man bringing you another Fleet Ops audio commentary. Today I have the pleasure of bringing you a 2v2 on Star Traffic. Uh, we have Red Shirt and I Mercenary versus Archon 143 and Cortazia. Uh, starting off in the top as the Red Federation is Red Shirt, sporting his favorite color. Uh, his teammate this evening as the Orange Borg, this is I Mercenary. Uh, he's getting his normal Borg setups just going as it is. Down here in the bottom, sporting the Purple Federation jersey, this is Acheron 143, and his teammate for this evening is Cortazia as the White Dominion. Now we can see everyone's kind of getting set up here. Uh, a little bit of scouting going on. You can see the Dominion checking out the six expansion here. Not going to really see anything there uh, this early in the game. Uh, the feds have managed to scout the Dominion here. Uh, they're not actually going to be able to see this yard, unfortunately. And so um, they're not going to really see what strategy um, Atron is uh, sporting. Uh, so we do see bombers going out, and this is pure tech. Uh, and so we're going to see bombers. Uh, in the meantime, down here, you can see that the um, purple feds, uh, Cortazia, is finishing up uh, his uh, Starfleet Engineering. Uh, very, very common strategy for Federation folks. Uh, they will put this guy down before putting anything else down and just throw up their Star Yard. That gives them access to um, their monsoons and their intrepids following the chassis level one that you see here going on. The Borg here, uh, I Mercenary, is scouting pretty good here. Um, might be able to see this. It's possible that he doesn't, and so he won't necessarily know what his opponent is doing. The Borg, for that matter, uh, sporting the optimized avatar, very, very popular choice. Putting down the conduction matrix, uh, very. I mean, it's like the first thing that you do. You're you're kind of scripted out the out the gates for the Borg at the uh, so far. Um, waiting for the energy nodes level one kicking off. Don't see it. Don't see it. Not sure why not. Really, really expecting to see that guy. Uh, chassis level one almost done up here for red shirt. And uh, mirroring, very likely mirroring the purple feds down here. Um, one thing to note here is this guy seems to be trying to get out of the way of transporter range, as any um, on the ball player can usually steal this scout at. It has no shields. And, um, but I Mercenary is. Uh, trying to stay out of transport range and uh, doing a good job of that. He will, however, be able to see that the Antares Yard is putting out uh, uh, Monsoon's Intrepids. So uh, the popular Federation build is well underway. So Borg here setting up there. First, uh, probably Skube. Over here, we see the Dominion about to push out their first bomber. Now, Tech Lab going up. Not really sure here what Acheron is doing with the bombers, these small and medium vessels. I believe the Monsoon's small, the Intrepid a medium. Um, the not. A decent counter to the Intrepids, I believe, not the Monsoons, but luckily his teammate is doing the Monsoons. Uh, you can see the Starfleet Science going out by um, Cortazia. Uh, very likely Proxy Torp or Tricobalt Torp. Um, that Proxy Torp is a lovely little extra guaranteed DPS when you need it. Uh, we have a Dodecahedron going down for I Mercenary. Uh, and this will be an excellent counter to Intrepids, as it is a support ship. The Intrepids do horrible against the uh, support ships. And we see full straight-on Intrepids by Redshirt. So, Intrepids, Dodecahedrons for the top team. And 
a fleet of bombers, and a mix of monsoons and intrepids for the bottom team. Let's see, Starfleet Science is not quite up. The other thing, of course, the Starfleet Science will give you access to the Starfleet Command, which will allow you to uh, call in war pins, which are awesome. Uh, though you do have to keep a little bit of uh, eye on them. Death to one of those guys it is not free. Most uh, most ships you have to pay on entry, the fed warp ends, you have to pay on exit. And pay out the nose you do. You can rapidly find yourself in zero supply zone immediately. And then you're going to have to spend all your hard-earned cash on you know, replenishing those supplies. So you can see Atron doing a good job here, trying to scout around. This dodecahedron. Uh, looks like it's having fun with the scout here. Uh, oh, and we do... Looks... Do we have a... Adaption slash... Uh, region? Oops. Looks like he took too many hits before... Uh, and that's not going to be too good. So, this monsoon... Should be okay. I mean, it has high-density shield generators. It will take 50... About 50% resistance against those long-range ships, which this dodecahedron is. It's a long-range support ship. See, Redshirt has already expanded. He is putting up a platform. Um, likewise, the Dominion, ooh, pumping out a large construction yard after having expanded. So, two left folks of each team are doing a great job here, getting their game on, getting their expansion up. The Borg are going to try to move down here. Is this what I see? Uh, a couple ships here, maybe trying to deny uh, Cortazia's expansion. But Cortazia is expanding right into the middle, trying to make it a really uh, strong forward move here. Borg coming around, going to go knocking on Cortazia's door. Question is, what is Cortazia going to do? Cortazia is about 15, 30 seconds. Uh, away from a nice little warp in. Warp ins will do great here. Um, this probe is medium ranged, and so it is a little bit slow. Has a tendency to um, die. Uh, we have this dodecahedron just pounding away at these things. This is a little bit premature right now. Well, actually, by premature, um, I'm going to be proven wrong. He's actually going to get a kill here. Oh, dear lord. Uh, check that out. Okay, so the Borg getting on in here with a kill. Um, I would say at this point in time, it's time to leave. You got a kill. Um, don't stick around here. Don't don't get your butt kicked by these things. The Intrepid here is going to do great against the Probe, but it will do horrible against the Dodecahedron. Uh, the Borg here are getting tanked by these uh, monsoons. And you can see that the monsoons are not taking a lot of damage, but they are taking a little bit of damage. Oh, and here comes a Warpin. Oh, and a Centaur, centaur class. You don't get to see those very often. Uh, this is a nice little... Oh, I'm sorry. Whose is this? Oh, yes. This is, um, this is Cortazia's. So... This guy, this uh, dodecahedron, taking a lot of damage here. This guy has the ability to uh, place a turret. But the Borg are going to be able to move out. Um, and these long-range uh, bombers are going to be able to do absolutely nothing. So here comes Red Shirt with a raid on the Dominion's main mining. These guys uh, do great against short range, which would be these uh, Intrepids. But the problem with the bombers is that they do not fire backwards. Oh, and we see a B-5. Lovely little uh, carrier here. Launches fighters, you can see that there. Those are kind of a pain, kind of a big pain if you uh, get get cornered by these guys if you get a whole fleet of them the problem here though is you watch is if a good a good player will 
kite you and basically kite your fighters. Each of these little fighters has an experience value associated with it. And as such, you can actually rank your ships off of um, rank off the fighters without actually really engaging much. Um, it's kind of free experience. And this here is going to be Red Shirt Warpin pulling in a nice little a solid galaxy, Excelsior, and um, a San Francisco Nebula. Uh, the aforementioned, uh, previously the uh, s uh, regular Nebula, uh, Scanner Nebula, whatever. Uh, this guy is sitting here. They've got a little good thing going on here, but these bombers are going to probably push these guys off. These ships here, all of these warpins are large ships, I'm fairly certain. Uh, and they will get pretty much hit 100% of the time by these bombs, these uh, torpedoes. So in the meantime, we see the... Uh, Cortasia trying to sneak up here up on the Borg. Borg are not going to have that. Let's see what the Borg is cooking. Has put up a transmission matrix. Okay, I Mercenary is heavily investing in his technology at the expense of ships. This could be disastrous. Um, if he does not watch out, he is getting that partial adaption. But he is going to be... Oh, that is 10%. But these guys have superior numbers, and they are going to come in here. Uh, these ships just need to waddle up next by, huddle up next to their adaption matrix. Um, none of these ships will be able to really tank much. Uh, this guy's uh, dilithium, however, is under uh, siege. And in the meantime, the Feds and the Dominion are trying to get a hold of each other. Uh, you can see that it looks like the Dominion went a little bit too far out, and the Feds are having fun out of it uh, however down here at the meantime the feds the, the bottom fed has managed to run away oh the feds have this if they want this prototype what a let's see what a game what a game changing this could be nasty nasty come on where's your tri cobalt torpedo go in for it oh this was such a lost opportunity even if you lose an intrepid should have gone off after this guy wrong move should have kept at it uh, but Spilt milk and tears and all that jazz. Oh, lucky, lucky by uh, Atron as he managed to pull this back. He's got a prototype here, kind of floating off doing its own thing. Probably not under the right movement autonomy. And the feds are going to circle back around. And this is going to be a dead prototype. A um, little bit of free experience. Bad on Atron's part, but it happens occasionally. And boy, does it ever get annoying. Uh, this guy is being a slow little puppy. Is It's just lost. Those intrepids are going to come up right up against it. Kaboom. Down goes that prototype. Alright, so the Borg, sporting, like, practically nothing, uh, are about to put out a sphere. Managed to get the enough dilithium. Had the connections. Uh, high energy slicer going heavy into tech. Here we see the red shirt moving his fleet around. Um, I'm not really sure why he's backing up out here. Um, he's got E2s on the way. This seems really early for that. Um, here's another Centaur class. I'd almost say pop down a, a couple pulse turrets. I believe these guys have that ability. Make you vulnerable for about a minute. Uh, if nothing else, give you something to fall back on. Um, Borg here have managed to find a little uh, a construction ship by the feds and are looking to burn it down. It's going to take a long time. However, this set of ships down here are going to be able to um, pretty much burn through this whole, f uh, if you call this a fleet, uh, pair of ships. Uh, this is a bad, out of position. Out of position for the Borg. The Borg are in trouble. They just don't know it. They're going to get cut off. Actually, actually, what they could do is they could run. They could just run all the way up around here and they'd be able to circle back around here and they'd be alright. Um, ignore this. Time to get out. Time to go. Time to go home. Red Fed. Uh, red Shirt getting his uh, crew together. 
um, as Acheron is coming over to help his Federation uh, Crotasia, but that is going to leave his front door open, and that is potentially very damaging. Uh, bombers, the, the one thing about prototypes is you have to have them in order to queue the things up, but if you get them already queued up, you don't really need them. So um, these guys are going to be able to keep his bombers in production. Now all now all the uh, top team has to see is that where this fleet is. And um, oh no, uh, the feds did a really good job of finding out where this guy was at. And uh oh, here comes a sphere that actually might save this guy. Uh, this looks like a beam sphere. Um, it is a beam region sphere. Um, managing the feds managed to burn some stuff down here. The feds are going to be pushing in on this sphere. This sphere needs to put down its. There it goes. The region goes. But let's take a look over here. As the red shirt feds is burning through things, this phaser sentry is not going to do nothing here. Uh, however, um, they managed not to uh, go after the sphere, and the sphere is just going to run back. Uh, I don't know if this phaser sentry is going to do much of anything. They could actually burn this guy down if they wanted. Not the starbase, but um, looks like they are going to cycle back around. Redshirt kind of not pushing his advantage. He could have just camped out right here. Um, done some good. Now, however, he is going to kind of try to go back down in here. Try to get up in this expansion. Or not. Um, one thing or another. A little bit indecisive here. The B2's bombers coming up. Um... Borg, I mercenary, in trouble. Looks like he needs uh, a lot of help here. He needs to back up, get within his. Uh oh, wrong way, wrong way, buddy. Uh oh, the sphere is going to die if he does not watch out. I mercenary is in trouble, um, and this is no good. And the back. Sorry about the small pause. Uh, we find that the. <laughs> the fleets have decided to converge on the middle. The bottom team is kind of spreading themselves out as Redshirt is coming in. Um, not losing too much. So Redshirt getting a couple couple kills on, it seems. The Borg, ooh, the sphere is way, way, way out of position. MI Mercenary is really putting his sphere in a lot of danger. He needs to back up. He needs to find his second sphere, and that'll make his whole fleet a little bit, uh, a little bit better uh, prepared. However, uh, Cortasia is sporting a nice little mixed fleet here. He even pulled in a descent, um, heavy on the torps. Oh, and a battle cruiser trying to have uh, have its way with the sensor nebula. Oh, actually, no, I take that. That's a torpedo nebula. Uh, the Yodadine getting its uh, shields taken down by those fighters and is trying to run off. Um, see a small contingent of these bugs. And the Dominion decided to back off. Richard skirting the edge of this push as a single monsoon tries to get a little bit too close for comfort. And it is probably going to take a lot of pain. But, nonetheless, um, what is this guy doing? There's something something dying. Something's dying left and right. Looks like Redshirt has decided this is not the place for him. Um, there goes the shield recharge on all of these fed ships as they are going to be able to turn around and push back Redshirt. Oh, Redshirt taking a bad idea and trying to turn back around. Not good as the Dominion lay into it from the sides red shirt gonna have to oh what is he turning around it's time to leave take whatever you can and get the heck out of there what is red shirt doing no time to go bad bad the borg sh 
the spheres are coming in. Um, but this is going to be nasty as this is all going to turn around. You see there is nothing down here but purple and white. A little bit of red. But uh, there. This is... Oh, wow. The uh, Intrepid's getting a lot of kills. Redshirt doing a lot of good there. But this is easily a Borksville kill. Um, they will swarm the crap out of this guy. And uh, this will be some Death Spheres. A couple of these Intrepid's still flying around here. Very, very persistent. Oddly enough, um, they went after the Spheres. And so that is what is saving this team here. Uh oh, bad move. That sphere trying to get away, trying to get away. He needs to toggle the region, toggle the region, toggle the region, toggle the region. How many percentage? Oh, there goes the region. Oh, and down goes the sphere. However, that manages to split up the fleet, and the Borg sphere is going the wrong way. These intrepids are making. All sorts of work with these ships here as the purple and the white team have managed to uh, split up their forces and that's a bad thing folks um, you got a couple of these intrepids that are just darn right nasty um, trying to get a couple more kills on various ships but it is not a good day for the red and the white uh, the red and the Orange, they are going to get outgunned, outnumbered, and boy, is this going to hurt here very shortly. Down goes a monsoon by Cortasia. Um, the red trying to get out of here. Oddly enough, they are um, still sticking around. Oh, yeah, nice little vet intrepid. Take a look at this guy. Uh, phaser damage to shields uh, and 100% to this thing. 40%. This sucker is just going to go all sorts of firepower. Uh, these guys need to get out while they can. Dang, this fleet of Intrepids is just hanging in here. This sphere is in all sorts of trouble. No energy. Uh, no health. This guy is going down. I really, really think that this sphere has soaked up a lot of damage. Uh, but now, now those spheres are dead. It is a two-on-one. The red needs to get the hell out of here. Needs to get the hell out of here. This guy is doing all sorts of craziness. Um, but uh, if someone can count, he needs to see that he is going to get his butt kicked if he doesn't want the heck out. And out he goes. Let's take a look what the Borg have in store for us. Sitting at energy nodes level 3. What is he doing? Is he trying to go for a cube? No freaking way. Yes way. Means he has nothing on the field. I Mercenary is going to get rolled here. Nice uh, Dominion contingent rolling right up into his base. The Federation, his Fed ally, trying to put out some more of those guys. Got 20 seconds on the warp in. Oh, it's a two on one. And they have broken past the defenses. And they are just going to run all the way through. Burning through all of this stuff. We see supply going down. Don't know what's going there. There's just no need for this energy nose level three. You got 90 connections. Trying to go to a cube right now, you're never going to get there. Uh, really, what you should do is you should just sort of um, dance with spheres. Dancing with spheres. Um, in the meantime, the Federation here are going to try to make a run on to the Dominion. Okay, so here's what they're going to try to do they're going to try to pull this big old fleet all the way back. And that's actually not a half bad plan at this moment. These guys are all up in this base, all up in this expansion, and they're going to go right into the Borg. The Borg have nothing. There is... Oh, hello. What is... Diamond. Okay, Diamond um, is going to be the first target these guys are going to take down. They're going to be able to take it down all very, very nicely. Um, question is... Oh, are they going to get it? Are they going to pull this fleet? They are. Look at this. They are going to pull this entire fleet all the way back. This this 
This little fane here, it's gonna work. The Borg have been saved. Oh dear Lord, that is crazy. So here, here's the beauty of this. They don't even have to do... Okay, so they're gonna get a couple kills here. Maybe some miners. Uh, this guy's gonna go down. Um, down it goes. Now, I would think it's time to get out. They need to see what... They need some eyes on the board here. This guy is going all the way back. So they're, what they're doing is basically wasting their time. They're not firing on anything. Ah, the white and the purple falling for this. Falling for this hard. So these guys trying to get a little bit of kills in. Trying to weaken this up. Um, they could... If they wanted to stick around just a little bit longer, and they are, but that is probably a bad idea. God, look at that. They have pulled that entire fleet all the way across the board, and now it's time to run. Guess, uh, time to run, but uh, you're going to have to run up, run up the side. You're going to have to run up the side. Oh, this is going to hurt if this... Okay, that was the problem. This is the problem. Oh, they are going straight into a repair. This guy is using some sort of something um, but this is the game changer they managed to catch this fleet oh red shirt oh totally got caught trying to do a repair he really should have back run around this bottom side he had the fleet chasing him and uh, at this point this is all over for the top team they have nothing left they are all but dead here folks um, Red Shirt should have tried to pull them down, uh, pull them away from something. The Borg have nothing in their base except for this, uh, maybe another sphere. Uh, is this diamond? Where is that diamond at? There it is, all by itself. It will not last very long at all. Could have popped down around all along the side corner. As it is, he's going to go run right into, uh, run right into that star base. As it is, this game is over, folks. Uh, white team gonna come up in here, find this defenseless little base. Gonna love this veteran intrepid. The ocean is gonna get uh, completely tore up. Uh, these E2s, they're just not fast enough. Uh, however, it managed to get a couple kills off on this guy. He is going to make it in. Uh, this phaser's platform is going to basically target whatever's closest to it. They're going to target the uh, these individual fighters, and that's going to do nothing. Here comes a couple pair of intrepids. Uh, these uh, T-15s going to do great against the intrepids. They hard counter them with that ablative armor doing 50% resistance against short range. And, um, yeah, folks, this guy is kicking, kicking it hard. Down goes this, well, no, it doesn't quite go down. Oh, some nice little ranks on these, uh, bombers. Federation doing a good job here trying to cycle their ships, but, by golly, they cannot get any, they're having a hard time getting kills here as, um, those fighters are uh, messing with their targeting. Let's take a look at this diamond here. Let's see what it's doing. Not much. It's it's running away. Another sphere on its way up. Ah, uh, yes, this T-15. Trying to get a little fun on. Oh, the engines go out, and the Federation Red Shirt gets a lucky break. Going to manage to burn this guy down, and down it goes. Red Shirt not giving up. Good lord, that guy is hanging in there. Borg feigning back, uh, leading a probe away. The probe going to get away. Uh, this little detector doing its little thing here. What is this guy? Oh, this is a DPS. Um... It's a DPS uh, diamond. No, uh, no uh, OOC. Order to Chaos would have been beautiful here. Um, of course, you need ships to uh, put it on. This guy, what kind of bases he got? 200 defense. It looks like the standard. Beautiful pork torpedoes. This guy uh, 
Let's see, what is this? Here? Oh, actually, here is the Order of Chaos. I wonder how many he's got. Borg Torpedo's getting all over this place. Um, let's see what the uh, defense doing. Taking a little bit too much of uh, star-based fire. The Secure class uh, should probably pop its regen. would be great, but it looks like they're not going to. These guys are going to go after... Uh, what are they targeting? What are they targeting? They're targeting the miners. Not a bad idea here. Uh, still taking too much uh, star-based fire. This guy has got... Uh, 78 offense, and down goes a uh, nebula, and they go after the diamond. A little order to chaos would be great. They should go after this guy. No, no, the diamond needs to stay out of range. This is really bad. Uh, they could go after it, but uh, man, somehow the Borg's staying in here. Oh, the Borg's fear going to get a, a little bit of a kill on. Is it going to get it? Is it going to get that Akira? The Akira knocks off his special. Trying to get away. The Borg Sphere could get that kill. Needs to get that kill. And it does. Now time to go home. Time to go home. Time to go home. Uh-oh. Time to regen and run. Regen and run. Uh, and it looks like it's doing just that. And an order to chaos would be great. Nanites would be awesome here, too. There goes a torpedo knocking that. Oh, uh, this Borg Sphere kill is going to be nasty. Needs no when to run. Needs no when to run. Intrepid specials. Waiting too long. Waiting too long, buddy. Here, I'm mercenary. About to lose his sphere. Uh, gotta watch out. Oh, getting caught up in the. Getting caught up in the mining fun. Back over here. In a short second. Oh, this guy is going to. Down it goes. And they're gonna take out this guy. The feds getting caught couple with their pants down. Down goes an Excelsior. Red shirt uh, running away here. Back over here. Here comes the Borg. A little bit of a uh, nanites. Great researching that. Uh, trying to stay around this. Trying to stay around the Starbase. Starbase is upgraded at least once. Possibly twice. Um, but down goes this diamond. It is going here very shortly. Definitely worth taking a couple kills to get that diamond. So many collective connections down. Get the Borger out of here. Look at their resources. 90 connections and nothing. Nothing but net here. Uh, they could back off. Uh, take out the conduction matrix. And they'd be happy-go-lucky. So the Dominion Fleet. Nice little bomb. B5s. Uh, some B8s. Some T-15s. Let's see what they go. Run up in here. See if they can't get a... What is... Oh, they... Looks like Red Shirt is decomming. 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 Looks like he has given up. It is all over but the crime. Uh, as this Dominion fleet rolls up in here, looks like uh, Cortasia is going to support or repair. Ah. Red shirt, not sure what he's doing here. Maybe trying to get a little bit extra funds. He's got all the intrepids he needs, but really... Oh, I guess he was trying to upgrade. Yep, he's upgrading his star base, or it was upgraded. Here comes the warp in for the purple. Oh, guess what? The Tony Berg! Uh, we're not in Kansas anymore. Uh, some defiance. Borg little probe feeling a little bit uh, exposed. Looks like uh, some decomming here of his Starfleet science. Is uh, Red Shirt trying to set up shop somewhere else? No, it looks like he's just trying to Excelsior all he can. Problem with Excelsior is they are kind of slow and uh, they do get without a lot of uh, babying and protection, they can really get um, flanked and basically just torn to pieces. You see what this, this guy is doing here? He is basically just avoiding that star base. Why, uh, why uh, engage this guy when you don't have to? So, uh, one little constructor way up here. Waiting for the GG any second now. Any second now, little fleet going up here. Loveless little veteran guy. The ocean.
Here comes some defiance. Wow, this guy got a little bit of a couple kills. Where did he get some kills? Um, and get a, little, get a little bit of the game on. Down goes that probe. This intrepid taking a little bit too much fire. Here goes this guy. He's, his upgrades aren't you know, doing its thing here. And they really don't have enough to take this. Not sure why they were uh, trying to burn on him a little bit. Not. Here comes the toady. Cannoning from afar. Let's see if they can tag out the weapons. Uh, that'd be the special, would be the great thing here for this toady. Where'd the toady go? He's kind of getting, for uh, something that's at strategic range, he really is kind of getting up in dogfight range. Kind of a silly, little bit of silliness there. Here comes the Dominion, uh, Dominion Road Dom Roll doing its thing here. Federation tanking with the uh, regen here. Uh, not a very good region, in my personal opinion. Let's see if it uses its special. Nope, still hasn't used its special. Could, uh, really, would be worth trying to take down the weapons. Ah, uh, but that is pretty here. Let's take a look at this from bird's eye view, or non-bird's eye view. There goes an Akira, and this guy is almost dead. Back into regular, and... Red is hanging out up there. The Dominion fleet is getting all sorts of, uh, fun time. Uh-oh. This guy is, uh, burning through his thing. Uh-oh, it looks like he took a couple shots. And, uh, not, s not so silent goodbye as he blows up. Well, special would be good here, knock out some poor weapons. Or you just knock out the base, finally. As you see, the T-15, this whole Dominion fleet going to come up here on this guy here. And we are going to see all sorts of fun. Wow, look at that star base just slam everything here. Um, those fighters doing a lot for cover. Uh, they are trying to shell, perhaps, the star base. And they're going to do a good job of it as the feds over here. Oh, look at that. Um... A little bit of uh, weapons getting taken care of. Looks like the Demi uh, Defiant doing its job. Down goes the Fed Fleet. Finally, uh, a couple of Dominion taking a little bit too much fire. Too, too much fire. Um, it's Fed Fleet doing its thing here. Oh, and the weapons are actually destroyed. I wonder if the Toady actually got any of that. Oh, it looks like the Toady did. Awesome. Uh, T-15 is not knowing what to do with themselves as they're getting their butt kicked by the various fire. And a little scout gonna get a kill! Rank up the scout! Rank up the scout! Do it! Do it! Almost! Oh, it did! And the scout gets a kill! Goal! <laughs> yes, Ventura kill. Ventura kill. Pet detective. They're trying to get a, a capture on this guy. Not necessarily the greatest thing in the world. Uh, losing all sorts of uh, crazy craziness here. Now that star base is just nasty, taking everything out. Um, looks like the board gonna get maybe a, uh, get a fun little uh, capture on one of these guys. But uh, that is going to be really nothing. What is what is the board trying to make here? Oh yeah, they're not making anything. Oh, and uh, this is the counter for that. You just transport all over the place. The board will never be able to get this guy. Good job there by uh, Cortana, uh, Cortosia, Cortosia. <laughs> and there is the GG finally. With the winning going to the purple and the white. Congratulations, guys. Hope to see y'all on the next round. Uh oh, Red Shirt's gonna try to make a make a run for it. Making another star base. Are you kidding me? Oh boy. Um The Borg are going to uh Nope, yes they're not gonna kill it. Uh not gonna get it. 
a little bit of transport action going on. And... <laughs> People so desperately want this little bitty ship, but they're not going to get it. And it's going to die. Bye-bye, board. Kaboom. And where's that Toadyberg? Get a little extra experience going on here. Defiance, uh, rocking it out. Doing their thing. Pulses. Doing alright here. Uh, would love to see a, uh, a ranked Defiant. He's got those torpedoes that just kind of like go poo 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 poo. Very nice. Now, what are you leaving this guy for? Thank you. Finish him up. Let's see what Red Shirt's trying to hole up with. He's got nothing. Nothing, I say. Of course, um, if you're going to try to hide something, you don't, you don't put it up next to the Starbase. You, uh, you go somewhere else. But this will be all over here very shortly, as we have another major fleet, and guess look at that, B-13s. Now we're just having fun. Just having silly fun. Really waiting for the GG as these guys uh, finish it off. Maybe a little bit of repair. Unfortunately, see this guy, he's got yellow crew. His rate of fire is going to be cut down quite a bit, actually. Um, I believe it's like 50%, so it's kind of crazy. One of those little side things that you don't really uh, really s understand what's happening. I'll tell you, uh, do a one-on-one -on -one, uh, with a ship with low uh, crew. And the Starbase is taking all sorts of fun fire. Let's see how long it takes for this. 410 defense. Um... All sorts of pulses, doing less damage, I believe. Uh, as the Tony Berg giving, laying into it with some uh, torpedoes, and uh, the Akira is coming up from behind. This guy finally, finally goes down. Uh, slowly, that is slowly. E13. Um, and down this guy goes. Good luck. Here's that Janeway uh, Intrepid. Has plot protection. And really just the hiding. At this point, it's really, really, really GG. Now let's take a look at another special. It's kind of awesome. 100%. Benefits from biome uh, neural gel packs, which is these guys. 44% rate of fire. This guy is kind of a, a little bit of a beast. Um, and Janeway decides to take on the entire freaking Dominion fleet. Let's see how well that works out for her. Look at this guy. 46 defense. Look at one of these guys. 25 defense. This guy's got double the defense of a 15. A 215. Running away, plot protection, full effect here. A little short range ship trying to run away, doing a good job, doing a good job. Um, shields down, shields down, T-15s. There's a little bit of green nebula down here somewhere. Go hide in that. No, not, no, here's the green. Is it gonna make it? No, and the purple fed's gonna come up in here. Uh, who's piloting one of those Akiras? Gonna kind of try to hang out here in this green nebula. Yep, hanging out here in the green nebula, doing the little shield thing. There goes an in. Uh, tri cobalt torpedo. That's a pretty little thing going on there. And let's see this intrepid taking all sorts of fire. Uh, no more weapons and no more Janeway. So many Trek fans rejoice. And now we have, I don't know why Red Shirt is mwahahahaing. 
Um, he's got two constructors in a star base. To ha ha ha, you need to kind of like have a huge cube or something, like six cubes. Six cubes right now would be a good mo ha ha ha. But a, uh, a star base that don't move, not so much, not so much. This sucker needs an upgrade just so it can move. That'd be great. Move this guy into a different orbit. <sighs> At this point, waiting for... I don't know what uh, Redshirt thinks he's winning here. Um... At this point, folks, this is where you GG and, uh, and you call it. And then you play another game. And then you either win it. Double yarding! Oh, dear lord. V13's double yarding this crap. It's crazy. They have a uh, torpedo launcher. And no, uh, no specials. They're just a short range, medium range ship. I'm sorry. Defiant getting its game on. Time just to hit explore. Some ranked guys. Those are nice. Uh, I believe they get another torpedo launcher. Let's go see if we can find one of these other guys. Um, all sorts of V-13s out there. As we get into Kira, finding, finding the last remnants of the red and orange team, finally. As you see, the entire f map converges up on this little guy here. Ah, if only you could have electric shocks for losing. Be great. I have to have a heck of a lot of scubes. Scubes. Lots of scubes. Like 400. 400 cubes. That'd be awesome. Lots of ranked up ships. As these guys sort of like coalesce, the purple and the white, gathering for a picnic. Here comes the Defiant. Guess what he's going to do? He's just going to special this thing. Watch it. He's going to special this thing. Or maybe not. Special would be great. I wouldn't mind seeing a tactical mini cube. That would be kind of cool. Tactical mini cubes. And here we go. Defiant. Looking for your special here, buddy. There's the special. Check it out. And there's the weapons gone. See how good that guy is. Not so great when you ain't getting no weapons. I guess they're going for a little bit of rank up while they can. That guy ain't moving, that's for sure. Uh oh. I guess they uh and the weapons are back. Should be uh, popping this. Oh, guess what? A little bit of T15 fun here. Ah, down goes the board. Finally eliminated, I think. And let's see. Where's a little bit of special? Come on, Defiant. Put a little hurt on this guy. There it goes, finally. And down goes Lost of the, the Red Fed. Congratulations, Purple and White, Archeron, and Gortazia. Good game. Good game. Oh, please. Alright, folks. Well, that's all. This is Yanniman signing off. I hope to see you guys on the flip side.